Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Splunk on Windows operating system. First we have to download this Splunk by going to Splunk official website that is Splunk.com. Now click on products, then click on free trials and downloads. See here, now we have to download Splunk Enterprise. See, it is free for 500 MB per day for 60 days. Okay. So, click on get my free trial. See, if you don't have account, you have to provide all this information. Then, you have to click on this. I agree to the Splunk website terms and conditions of use and Splunk privacy policy and Splunk general terms. Then, you have to click on create your account. Then, we will receive an email for verification. Once you receive email then you have to click on the see then you have to click on verify your email or copy this link okay both are fine now okay after that go to here and click on this login i have already registered so click on login then provide mail id and password and click on login The supported versions are Windows 10, Windows Server 2019 and 2022. For Linux, see we have the .debian package, zip file and RPM. Okay. If you click on more, you will get more information. Okay. For Mac, it supports 10.14 and 10.5. Okay. So click on Windows. Also, if you want to see the system requirements, click on resources, keep the cursor on the resources then click on then right click on this documentation and open link in new tab click on splunk enterprise then click on installation manual then click on the system requirements scroll down see this is for unix operating systems for windows operating systems see this is the section see all installation options are supported for 2022 and 2019 and 2019 okay but all features are available for these two versions only okay so windows 10 it has free license trial license and universal forward package okay but for windows 11 we have only universal forward package okay so go back click on this download now then scroll down see here download has been started go see here exercise is 510 megabytes wait until download completes i'm cancelling this one because i have already downloaded okay now once download is completed click on this open file Check the checkbox to accept the license agreement. Then click on customize options. See, this is the location to install Splunk Enterprise. If you want to change, you have to click on this change button. Okay, I'm okay with the default one. Then click on next. Here we have two types of accounts local system or domain account. If you have domain account, you have to select this domain account. Otherwise, click, click on local system and click on next. Provide the username for the Splunk interface. I'm giving Splunk admin provide the password for this user. See, see, this is the Splunk administrator account. Okay, click on next. If you want to create a start menu shortcut, you have to keep this as this. Then click on install. See here, we are installing, see, we have downloaded the latest version that is Splunk 9.2.1, okay. But if you want older versions, go back, click on previous releases. See here, we have older versions of Splunk Enterprise, okay. You can download them 
Und ich komme. See, Splunk interface successfully is done. Keep the checkbox as it is, that is launch browser with Splunk enterprise. Then click on finish. Then provide the username that we have given. I have given Splunk underscore admin. Then provide the password of this user which we have given. Which we have given. Click on sign in. See, this is the Splunk console. Okay, so to add team members, you have to click on this add team members. If you want to add data, click on this add data. See, if you want to upload files from the computer, you have to click on here cloud computing, networking, operating system, and security. For this cloud computing, we have 10 data sources. To, for networking, 2 data sources. Operating system, 1 data source. And for security, we have 3 data sources. Even you can search here also. Go to the home page. If you want to search data, you have to click on here. See, skip the tool. If you want to see the tutorial, you have to click on it. If you want to see the data summary, you have to click on If you want to search, you have to search here. Okay. If you want to create table you have to click on create table view. and here we can select the time like 15 last 15 minutes to last 30 minutes 30 days again go back analytics see here we have different tabs like search analytics data sets reports alerts and dashboard so click on dashboard skip this one see i have four dashboards okay if you want to create new dashboard click on create new dashboard then provide the dashboard title, description, permissions, okay, and type of the dashboard classic or studio. Okay. Click on cancel. I'm not going to create anything. Go back to home page. See, we have different options. I will show you all the options one by one in the coming videos. Click on administrator, account settings. If you want to, if you want to set the password. You have to provide the current password and new password here. Then you have to click on save. Okay. Then settings. Then licensing. If you have a license, you have to click on add license. Then we will see the usage report. Okay. So we have the different options. See for the current license, the daily volume is 500 megabytes. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Splunk Enterprise Edition that is 9.2 on. Windows operating system. The process is same for all Windows 10, 11 and 2016, 19 and 22 servers. For more Splunk videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.